just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. I've been hurting women, too. Bad. I can't explain it. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry. About everything. About how this is gonna end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. Good evening. Evening, Arthur. Hang in there. We're on the up. I know. I'm fine. I know things have been hard. Sure, Arthur. You good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we'd left Sean hanging from that tree. Oh, I know what you mean. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yep. very dignified, is it? I don't force anyone to take the money, and I don't force anyone to not repay it. But if they don't, you send one of us around to break their legs. I send someone around to encourage them to comply, yes. Hmm. The way I see it, it's unseemly. I did not take you for a man of mindless compassion, Mr. Bell. <laughs> oh, I ain't. But I have the good grace to shoot a fella full in the face, not call myself his friend my and legs. shoot him in the back. Is that so? Usually. Not always. Sometimes there's nothing better than shooting a fella who thinks you like him in the back. So... Watch yourself. <clears throat> Please, excuse me. Just what is your game? You're one to talk. You got a problem with Strauss? Lone sharking. It ain't a man's game. Huh. That's Charles? where you draw the moral line. John, let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. So I've got a story for you, Jose. You'll like this one. Can we just enjoy some peace and quiet? You're a barrel of laughs, aren't you? Yo no siento el que me hayas amado. Solo siento el que me hayas cambiado. You want to join us, Arthur? Por otro hombre más hey, superior que yo, ángel de amor, tu pasión no la comprendo. Si la comprendo, 
no la puedo expresar. Hey, Javier. Hey, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. All right. Hi there. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. Feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. Yeah. You can go faster than this. Faster, Uncle Arthur. All right. 
right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Just by the water. Are there? Now, you mean? Cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There, got him. Is it a big one? Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. Fish on the line. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Oh, this one's a red fin pickerel. Not bad. as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. I think you've got a bite. Look! Got one, Jack. Pull him in. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? 
Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die, savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. I don't like it here anymore. Okay then, girl. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. the luckiest did you thank uncle arthur no need we had a good time what's wrong nothing just met some folk i better go speak with dutch okay hey you did real fine kid thanks we got a problem what i just met some guys out near the river a fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. 
They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Oh, don't worry about them, okay? All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Here, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. And what did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Really? You've been on the road for 10 years or more. Hush yourself, ye of little faith. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. Oh, I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. For sure. You did good. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. There she is. Good morning, Arthur. Watch the wind doesn't change. Oh, shut up, Arthur. Wouldn't want that face to freeze. Sorry, ain't much company right Mr. now. Strauss. Hi, Karen. Good morning. Keeping out of mischief? Yes, unfortunately. All right. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Are you well? Hello. How you keeping, Abigail? Just fine. Uh, I never, uh, never told you this, but... I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yes, please leave.
thing. Last person I want to see. Karen. Hi, Abigail. Karen. Hi, Tilly. How you feeling? Okay, a little better. Good. How are you? Fine. Hey, do you think... Do you worry? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow... Okay. Summarize how I feel. seems awful. And then it seems the same as always. And then it, it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I, I just... Listen, we got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. the way. 
wagon, sir. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. Drive on the road, for Christ's sakes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. So, steer us back on the road. That could put... Damn it, Mark. You're gonna get us killed. Ah, just a scratch. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Let's go. We're going to miss it. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gutter, see? <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, you're going to wreck the wagon. Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. There we go. 
So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. What are we doing? I'm confused. Little Mr. McGuire. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Tia! Mr. Marston! Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, hey, get on that train! Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and nobody get yeah. shot! Let's go! Everything you got! Money, valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I don't want to get I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Just don't deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? What's the problem here? Stop it, Felix. Money, Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. 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 In the bag, everything you got. Damn it. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. One. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing Thank my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Reach out. You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time, huh? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? Kate, deal with this fella, will you? Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't do it. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Just put the gun down there. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks. What is it? You all right? You hear me? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. There'll be something in here, Arthur.
to cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Oh, oh, I'm going to have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best. All right. I know. That's what's worrying me. We'll take that. All right. We should probably be going now. Come on. We should get out of here. There's some decent stuff. Looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands. Shit! On the left. And we got more coming from the trees there. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Got to be $100 here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. <laughs> 